Hey guys, this is Long Night Entertainment. I'm Mycosa, and we're back with another video log today. My nose is a little red today. Uh, ugh. It's okay. I can talk, I can speak. My nose is just a little irritated. Sinuses. Not losing my voice again. Oh, thank goodness. Now, where I left off yesterday, I was talking a bit about how to grow a channel when you're small, what worked for me in over the past couple months growing from like, well basically from maybe 40, 50, 60 to now, as of right now, I'm still at 143, no complaints. I'd gone into a brief bit on the whole sub, sub for sub thing, and then the importance of comments. To clarify, when you're small, channel wise, Trading a sub for a sub, it might get the ball rolling. Hi. What are you... What are... I don't know what he's doing. Okay. What are you doing? Do you just want to sit on my hand? Is that all we want? Okay. Someone wants to sit on my hand. A couple of you have noted my parrot in the in the video logs that I've been doing. Uh, you know, apparently he's popular among you guys. That's cool. His name is Baby. He has a whole story to him, and I will go over that story tomorrow. He's had a hard little life, and now he's doing better. And the explanation for that is also in why I I, I can't really have him do many tricks. Functioning like a Normal everyday parrot who isn't an asshole is kind of his trick. Yup. Here we go. But anyway. Doing the whole sub for sub thing, it doesn't take you far. It gets you a couple subs, but as I mentioned to one person in a comment, unless people browse other people's subscription lists and happens to find you, and how likely is that, you're not going to really get anywhere from that. All it's going to be is one tick on a number where for it to matter, you need hundreds of ticks, thousands of ticks. You're never going to grow that way. And you're never going to, going to get real support or show real support that way. That being said, I don't think there's anything wrong if you're trying to support a small channel, but you know you're not going to view their stuff very often. Hit a subscribe, put a like, and maybe a comment on their intro trailer or the most recent one. It's showing a bit of support. It's a good thing for people who are small and you think are going to be good but are just not in the genre or style that you like. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. But you can't count on it to make you grow. And there's plenty of people who simply... It's not how they think. So I will tell you now... Oh, excuse me, just a, just a second here. Sorry. So I will tell you now, one thing to remember on how you think is that regardless of your opinion on it, the way YouTube works is that a larger subscriber number is seen as having a lot of support. By itself, it doesn't mean much. But hitting a, but throwing a subscribe down, even if you don't plan on sharing subscribe, trading subscribes, it will offer a little bit of help. Only a little. But like I keep saying, it's kind of in the least you can do. Next up is to actually go to their videos, hit like, and make a little comment. That actually does help. It gives a view, but what many people will do is they won't actually watch the video at all. They'll just go on, hit like, make a comment, and leave. Kind of like they're blipping into a quick chat room, and that does help. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't increase viewer retention. And the comments are kind of lackluster, sometimes disjointed, 
and usually don't have much to do with just, hey, I like what's happening here. Some of those are okay. Only those are not. And they drain down your viewer retention time. What helps the most is if you watch for a few minutes, put a comment that's actually related to what's going on or actually asks the subscriber a question that's in some way related to their video. And yeah, a, a like, and that always helps. That is the most helpful. What I do in my case is I actually play most of my videos at double time. This way I can get through the video faster and watch more videos and get a feel for what's going on with it. And if I'm really digging what's happening, then I'll slow it down, I'll put it to normal time, rewatch parts of it. The idea is I'm trying to get at least three or four minutes of view time on each video. And I try to make a comment that references it, references a playback, or answers a question or refers to a question or comment that was actually made in the video. It's better yet if you can actually get some back and forth with other people watching and with the creator. This is the best way to support. Even if you watch it double time. Because it increases viewer retention. It increases comments and brings other people to come back to the video and comment. If you can, I say even if you mute it, play the video in the background while you're commenting. That further increases viewer time. And... I don't consider it cheating because you are coming back to the video. You may even have it playing and listening and repeating some funny stuff while you're commenting. It helps. I'm sorry, my nephew just started crying at something. He's upstairs. Don't worry. Uh, my nephew is not my responsibility to take care of. His parents are home. His mother is. Uh, I'm, I'm the amusing uncle downstairs, not the caretaker. This is what I take care of. This is my baby. He is adorable and fluffy, and he likes his head scratches. Look at him fluff up. Look at him fluff. Look at that adorable birdie face. He's going to be joining with me on more things if I can. Mostly dependent on, you know, how he feels. I'll go into his story on the next video tomorrow. It's a story worth telling. To be honest, a little sad, but it has a happy ending. He is bird. So with that, and with the nephew crying, I think I'll tu I'll call it in today. So, thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, give that like button a boop. I hope these videos help give people advice on how to grow themselves. And, well, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.